Hi guys, and welcome back to Traft Tutorials. So you know Traft is a scheduling tool which helps you and gives you a whole dashboard from which you can manage your appointments and overview your customers, employees, and basically manage your whole business. But did you know that with Traft you also receive a whole booking website? And besides the booking website, you receive a few different uh, other ways how you can embed your forms and share your appointments so your customers can easily schedule their uh, appointments without the need of you having to go and manually do it yourself. And also we will show you how the customers will go through all the process of the booking while they are logged into their account or if they are booking your services as a guest. And lastly but not least, we will show you how you can uh, embed the only one service or share the group appointment mm -hmm. on your website. So Olga, you, would you please just walk, walk us through? Yeah, of course. So as you see, I'm just logged in as admin currently, but if you just click on the top left uh, corner on the button that says booking website, it takes you to uh, the booking website, which you can then share uh, with your customers. So whatever you configure in your dashboard will show up here, the services, any uh, details about the services here. You also have your locations page, which shows any uh, locations and offices that you may be added uh, in the back end and where your uh, services and your business uh, runs. Also, there are some other categories. If mm -hmm. you select your services to be in a different category, you can also display that. Yeah, so you can basically group your services uh, how you want and how your business runs. And from there, you can also see the book appointment here or here. Uh, I'm going to choose this one and here you can see that your customers basically once they land on your website, they can choose two options. So if I go on continue as guest, the booking form appears and we showed this in the previous video, you just go through the booking process and you select all of the details of what you want to book. Uh, if I go back to book appointment to the page where I choose, they can also create an account. So your customer ha can have an account with you. Uh, all they need to either do is sign up, enter their first name. So let's say Mary Smith, their email. And then a password, of course, normal credentials. And just click continue. Uh, uh, there was also buttons to log in with social accounts or Google or anything else if they have. And basically what they see now is the booking form and they proceed uh, with the bookings themselves. But uh, what is interesting about this is that uh, all their appointments, their upcoming and past appointments will be remembered. So whenever they land on your website, they will see their profile and will uh, easily be able to overview anything they have. Also, all of their uh, information here on the last step of the booking form is already pre-filled. So uh, there's no need to double input that. Of course, they can uh, choose the additional options for payments or coupons or anything else. Once they book, they can go under my appointments. And here we can see this is the first appointment I booked as this customer. But this is uh, where they can see. They can also, if there is a need to reschedule it, do that here. Or even maybe if they need to cancel it, they can also do it from this customer panel. Uh, here they can also see their user settings. So if anytime they want to upload a picture or uh, update their information or anything, change the password, they can do it uh, from here and uh, again, log out. So basically that's the main advantage of having the uh, customer profile. This is not uh, a mandatory thing. If I go back to the dashboard and I go under customize, uh, you can see that here you have the account settings, which you can regulate and you can choose to only have the registered customers if you want all of your customers to have an account, or if you want to completely skip this step and this is not necessary for your business, you can choose that just the guest customer. I'm going to leave uh, the option for my customers to choose. If you want to reschedule the appointment as an administrator, how you can do that and what will the customer see? Uh, yes, of course. So uh, if you want to reschedule as a, an admin, you would go under appointments, choose the appointment that you want to change. Mm -hmm. And then if you added the appointment, you can just easily change the uh, date and the time when you want to move the, the appointment. Just make sure to select all of the uh, different things. For me, the location was not selected for this one because I added it after. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but if you want to change for Mary Smith, yeah, I can also do that. I can edit the appointment. I can change. So let's say to Monday, then choose a time. 
and update the appointment. Okay, what will now Mary see in her customer dashboard? So if I reload this, we can see that Mary has uh, the updated uh, date and time for their appointments. And also a good thing for this would be to turn off your, turn on your email notification in Traft. That will also be useful because then immediately once you reschedule it here, the email notification for rescheduling will be triggered and also sent. So they can, of course, always log in here and see and will receive a notification outside of this uh, dashboard. Uh, other than that, for each service, you can uh, see a more detailed view at the gallery with different images, which uh, you configure in the back end. Any extras that you want to offer with your service, you can uh, your customers can actually select here and then uh, proceed uh, with the, just selecting the location. If you have those date and time similar to most of the booking process. Okay, now let, uh, let's just show how we can share the appointment yeah. and use that feature. Of course. So this is your whole website. If for some reason you have specific customers which you want to have a specific service just offered to them, you can also do this uh, from the dashboard. So either on the appointments page, on the employees page or the services page, you can get the booking link and share your appointment. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show it on the appointments page. If you just go share booking form, you can pre-select any of the parameters uh, that you want to share specifically with that customer. Uh, let's say if a customer called you up on the phone and they chose everything and they, you, know, you just want them to choose the date and time, they chose the service and everything else, you would just uh, tell them, okay, book from the 26th of September till the 30th, anytime you, you want. Uh, here you see two options. So you can either embed this form if you have your own existing website previously and you just want this specific service to be embedded on one page. Uh, you can choose uh, this uh, code, uh, copy it, and then paste it onto your website. I'm going to show you how the link works. Uh, also, you can send the link through any social media. You can see it here, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. But if I just copy it, open a new tab, paste it, uh, you can see basically here that everything is pre-selected and all they need to do is from the available time slots, which basically you chose. Uh, they just choose date and time for yeah. that service. And then, of course, the last step is always mandatory for them to fill in their uh, information. This is pre-filled because I'm logged in, but if I wasn't, and then if they need to pay online, this will be uh, available here as well. Okay. And you can also, of course, get this link specifically for an employee. If you just go uh, on the three dots next to any employee, you can uh, select a form specific to that them and also do the same for a specific uh, service. And similarly to the share appointment, how you can embed it, you can use on the customized page on the general settings. Uh, you have the general iframe, so for the whole booking website, for the whole booking form, actually. Uh, if you just copy the code, you will be able to uh, basically embed this form uh, onto a website if you already have that. So if you have any WordPress website, you can mm -hmm. use this iframe and display the booking mm -hmm. for your services on your WordPress website. Yes, exactly that or any other uh, website platform builder. Uh, if you already have it separate, you can also use Draft and then manage all your bookings uh, through it as well. Uh, and that's basically it. Okay, thank you, Olga. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video was useful to you. And be sure to check out Draft since we do have a free trial and explore uh, each of the features and integrations that we have. Also, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below so we will know which next video or tutorial we should record. And before you go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in another video. Bye bye. Bye, guys.